topic we will discuss is uh, of functions. Functions. So what is a function? Uh, to give the definition of function, we need to give a, we need uh, two sets. So the definition is an x and y. They are not empty sets. Um, and the relation between x and y uh, is given as uh, f as a x to y or x y is a f and in such kind of uh, notations. So uh, this is a relation. So relation is uh, a function if uh, this relation is size uh, for an element of x, an element, a unique element of uh, y. So this is uh, a function relation. We will call it function relation. So this is a notation for function relation. Um, so function you can uh, imagine as a some machine with the input and output. Output. So you have x here, then function. Uh, some process will go on. So it works over x, then the result you will get uh, y. So in this notation, x is called an uh, independent uh, variable y is called a uh, dependent variable so a function has its domain domain of function f this is those elements of x uh, what we can apply at this rule f so we have we can write uh, such a rule. Uh, so, since x from x, this is, this will be subset of x. So there is a range in the R E of x. This is those elements of y. So like that x, there is this x from x with the y is above x. This is a range. Yeah, definitely subset of y. Um, so this is a um, domain in the range of that function. Now, uh, uh, in mathematics, in calculus, uh, we will deal with uh, the case when x and y, they are subsets of i, subsets of uh, real numbers, subsets of real numbers. Uh, and <coughs> this process, this function f, uh, will be given as a, um, uh, as a mathematical formula. Uh, if that mathematical formula is um, written explicitly, then function is called explicit function. If it is given implicitly, then uh, function is called implicit function. Um, okay, so now uh, let us consider some uh, examples. So example number one. So very simple example. So I will write uh, so y f of x is c 5x minus 3 or more general uh, y is f of x is ax plus b where a and b they are uh, real numbers um, what is this uh, rule now in this case the rule is is a rule, the rule that is taking x 
kx multiply it multiply it by e and fb so this is root uh, root f uh, so how about domain domain of f is r in this case why? because if you take any uh, element of r you can multiply by a also is element of uh, r you can add to this real number another real number so it's not this uh, real number so uh, domain is uh, r so that means we can apply uh, that rule f for any x from r so how about the range the range of f uh, now the range of uh, f depends uh, for a to be 0 or non zero if a is 0 then the range is only uh, one point b a uh, single uh, point uh, set if a is not zero then it is just uh, r and if, if um, you take any y any y from r then you can solve uh, this linear equation so this is x is y minus b over a so this is the x this x uh, existence of that will require the, the range so this is exactly the x which goes to um, to our y uh, this function is called a linear function